rather than simply redirect the user back to my form if he or she fails to provide all of the required fields, let's instead be a little more instructive and inform him or her what they need to do in order to proceed further. So take a look here at froshims2.php. The only change now I've made is to remove Bootstrap for now, just to keep things a little bit simpler, and also to specify that the action of this form shall be register2.php. Let's then take a look at register2. Notice that this file is mostly HTML, but inside of the body tag are a number of PHP tags. As PHP's interpreter encounters those tags, it will indeed execute the code within them. What will be executed in this particular case? Well, notice we'll check with an if. If name is empty, or gender is empty, or dorm is empty, then, and the then here is implied by this colon. PHP does, like C, support curly braces for the body of its if blocks, but it also supports this colon, which means anything that comes hereafter, if this if condition is true, shall happen. Now, if what follows that colon is just some raw HTML, as in this case, what will happen is that the interpreter will simply spit out that raw HTML. But as soon as we encounter another PHP tag, as we do here on this line, else we will do the following. We'll claim in raw HTML, or really just text, that you are registered. Well, not really. Then, unlike C, we now need to specify more explicitly, because we're using these colons, that the if ends here. Now let's take a look at the final result. Here in Frosh IMs 2, I have the form that I originally had. Let's go ahead and fill out David Malin. He'll be a captain. He'll be male, but he won't have a dorm. Rather, let's simply proceed to register. You must provide your name, gender, and dorm. Go back. In other words, rather than simply redirect me back to that Frosh IMs form and leave it to me to figure out what actually went wrong, here I've been informed proactively that I've done something wrong and I've been given an opportunity to go back.